Do you incubate your gargoyle gecko eggs or any new Caledonia eggs at room temperature? It's one of the best things about this species. You can do that. But I wanted more control. So I went and I created my very own incubator with just the stuff around my house. If you want to see how I did that, stick around. <laughs> So guys, this is gonna be a relatively short video because it is so simple. You could, if you'd like, if you don't have some of these components, go out and buy some of them. They're gonna be relatively cheap. Um, now, I wouldn't recommend this setup for any kind of other species like a ball python, or if you really need to dial in the exact temperature. Um, what I found in my experience with this uh, incubator that I've created is that it fluctuates about two to three degrees because of the type of thermostat that I have. But let me uh, flip the camera around. I'll show you exactly what the incubator looks like, the different components. It's very few components, but there's one or two major things that you need in order for this to work. So be right there. All right, so this is the incubator. Nothing too crazy. It is a cooler. So I got this cooler on Amazon, it's Arctic. Uh, I can link it in the description as well if they still make this exact model. Otherwise I'll link something similar, but uh, you don't have to use Arctic. You can use any cooler that you want. I would recommend something a little bit smaller than the big jumbo ones. I wasn't using this because I needed a big jumbo one for when I had parties, but this one was just a little bit too small, but worked perfectly for this. Pulled it out of the garage, cleaned it up a little bit, still a little dirty, but all I did is in here, you can see I have some eggs. I have a shoe box that I'm no longer using because I didn't want the eggs to just sit on the bottom. I wanted them kind of up in the middle area. And then what I did is I took one of these heat pads. I had these heat pads laying around, um, fully functional, uh, worked just, just as well as the first day I got them. Um, but this is when I uh, used to keep uh, leopard geckos and fat tail geckos. This is just an under the tank heater. Really simple, uh, it gets warm, all right? And then with the double insulated wall cooler, uh, it creates a great environment. But you'll also notice that I have a heat probe here. Just sticking this in here and throwing it on full blast, you're gonna go and cook your eggs. We don't want that. So just like when I used this with the geckos, with the fat tails, and my other species, I used a thermostat. So I'll link this thermostat also in the description, the BN link, but basically what it does, is it keeps these guys around 76, 77 degrees. You can let me know in the comments how you keep your eggs, but uh, I wanted them a little warmer than my uh, room ambient temperature. You set a certain temperature just by holding this down. You can move it up and down and uh, it works beautifully. It keeps it right on par. Now I don't trust this 100%, so I go and I use a heat gun to go in here every so often and just make sure that what I'm reading up there is what these guys are actually getting. But so far, so good. Uh, I've had no issues. It's been right on par. So this is just my simple, easy solution. I've got this plugged into the thermostat, plugged into the wall, and I just let this thing ride. So if you've got a ton of geckos and you know you need something bigger, you can scale this up. You could do multiple racks. Um, but for a small breeder who's looking for something inexpensive, I had this in my house. I had those in my house. If you keep reptiles, you probably have a few of these. Um, and you could put it down on the bottom, but I just wanted it propped up. I just read on a forum that that was... Uh, Beneficial so far has been working out. That way there's not a heat. Uh, you know, you don't want to be putting this on the bottom and then putting the geckos right on top of that. That would be bad. Um, you want them separated a little bit. So this also helps separate that uh, as well. Anyway, really quick video. Nothing too fancy and crazy, but uh, I thought I'd go and just share this with everybody. And hopefully this helps anybody out uh, in the next breeding season. Have a great day. Hey, if you've enjoyed this video and want to encourage me to make more Gargoyle Gecko content, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, share this with a friend, and maybe uh, check out one of the videos right over there. I'll see you next time on Gecko Cove.